Hello and welcome to Trace Tainment. In today's video, you guys will not believe what has happened. And it's crazy because CNN actually posted this. I know there's comments that CNN's that and CNN does this, but they posted this video. And I want you guys to pay close attention because if you don't, you might miss the important part. Check this video out. K file investigates. In a new report, you'll see first out front. The K-File team scoured Kamala Harris's tweets and statements going all the way back to 2017. And what they found was more than 50 instances of Harris slamming Trump's border wall. But now, new Harris campaign ads actually showcase that very wall. As a border state prosecutor, she took on drug cartels and jailed gang members for smuggling weapons and drugs across the border. And on top of critical tweets, Harris also wrote in her 2019 book, quote, there was a bigger reason to oppose the border wall. A useless wall on the southern border would be nothing more than a symbol, a monument standing in opposition to not just everything I value, but to the fundamental values upon which this country was built. How could I vote to build what would be little more than a monument designed to send the cold, hard message, keep out? Well, K Files Andrew Kaczynski joins me now. So, Andrew, I mean, you, you, and you, you all have gone through. I mean, scoured mm -hmm. an incredible amount of material. Tell me more about what you found. Yeah, that's right. We found more than fifty of those those tweets criticizing the border wall before she used that in her ad. And I want people to take a, a look at just a few uh, of what she said here. She called it wasteful, useless, a waste of taxpayer money, a vanity wall project, a wasteful border wall, a stupid wall a medieval vanity project and an unnecessary wall uh and those are really just i mean there were more of this just like 10 or like 50 uh but there was really there was really a lot of this was the common refrain during the campaign you read that quote where she said it was against everything that not only she stood for everything uh, america stood aboard but and she brought this up a lot take a listen to just one instance of that in 2019. <sighs> It's the president's vanity project. His multi-billion dollar vanity project called a wall is nothing more than a distraction from the fact that he actually hasn't focused on working people in America. He contrived a national crisis around his big distraction. All right, so you go through all of that, you've got all the tweets, and yet all of a sudden in the ads, there's pictures of the wall, mm -hmm. and then you went through to look at that wall. Yeah. Like, what is that specific wall that's in her her campaign ads now? And you found something very interesting about this specific portion of the yeah. wall. And what's, I think what's also really remarkable about this is, like, I mean, you heard her talking about it there, the, Trump's wall in his campaign during his presidency. There was really no greater symbol of Trump's presidency than the wall in the way that Democrats were attacking him over the wall and his restrictive immigration policies. So we look in that ad, and w w if you look at it, that exact area of wall is in uh, Sasabe, or, or Sasabe, Arizona. And that is a portion of wall that was actually built by Donald Trump. It was built in an area uh, where there was not previous wall. It was actually pretty controversial when they were building it uh, at the time. So just to see that, uh, and then there are other- She's using his wall that he built to say, look at what I did, and, basically. And, and the other images of the wall, uh, we weren't able to pinpoint, but there's there's telltale signs that that was a Trump wall because there's an anti-climbing plate on top that became popularized during the Trump years. Well, 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 have you guys ever heard of saying that if you can't beat them, join them? Because that's what looks like is happening. If you can't beat them, so they're trying to join them. And a round of applause for seeing and catching this and sharing this. But can you imagine what would happen if Trump would have done the same thing? Like if he would have said some of this stuff? Can you guys imagine how crazy that would have been? It would have been everywhere. It would have been like everywhere to the point where you just see it. Like you get on anything, you see it. But it is what it is. But at the end of the day, November is a very important month. You guys know what to do. Let me know what you guys think about today's video down in the comment section. That'll be a wrap for today's video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.